Hey guys, how you doing? So once in a while, once in a while we see some major moves happen in the software development world. Major moves like a new technology coming in, older technology going out. So let's look at C++. I think we may be seeing the beginning of the end for C++ or perhaps the beginning of the decline of C and C++. Why? Well, we're seeing more and more companies telling uh, people to get off of C++, more and more organizations telling other companies to get off of C++ because of the inherent security issues. So let's take a look at this. White House urges developers to dump, to dump C and C++ due to memory issues. So the Biden administration calls for developers to embrace memory safe programming languages and move away from those that cause buffer overflows and other memory access vulnerabilities. I did a video recently where they were talking about how they found that 70% of bugs in Windows, for example, come from the memory issues. So even Microsoft is now rewriting core parts of Windows in Rust uh, to address some of those issues. So let's just go on here. The U.S.'s President Joe Biden's administration wants software developers to use memory-safe programming languages and to ditch vulnerable ones like C and C++. The White House Office of National Cybersecurity, the ONCD, in a report released Monday, called for on developers to reduce risk of cyber attacks by using programming languages that don't have memory-safe vulnerabilities. Technology companies can prevent entire classes of vulnerabilities from entering the digital ecosystem by adopting memory-safe programming languages, the White House said in the new release. So this, if you don't know, if you're not an American, uh, the White House, you know, is basically the head of state. If they start dictating these type of things, you know what's coming down the pike. They're going to be saying to big software vendors like Microsoft and Google and Oracle and et cetera, they say, listen, you want to deal with the federal government? which is a massive, massive uh, enterprise, which means a lot of money for these companies, you better make your uh, software less vulnerable. Now, especially since the tensions have risen very high against Russia and China, I'm sure there's other people. So you're going to see this more and more and more. So um, this, I think, could be uh, the a nail that uh, builds the coffin, the C++ coffin. The new 19-page report from the ONCD gave C and C++ as two examples of programming languages with memory safety vulnerabilities, and it named Rust as an example of a programming language it considers safe. And many other languages as well that are safe. Uh, I think Python's in there, C++, this is not C++, C Sharp, Java, and there are others. So uh, in addition, an NSA cybersecurity information sheet from November 2022, listed C Sharp, Go, Java, Ruby, Ruby, and Swift, in addition to Rust as programming language, it considers memory safe. About 22% of all software programmers use C++, and 19% use C as of 2023, making them less popular than JavaScript, Python, Java, and a few others. But the Tayobi Programming Computer Community Index ranks only Python is more popular than C and C++. So when you're looking at uh, rankings, you have to look at what the particular ranking organization is looking at in terms of their data set, and you got to make decisions accordingly. That said, it's best to look at multiples to see what, uh, well, multiple rankings, to get a better idea of what's going on out there in terms of what's actually being developed in. So, for example, um, if you look at statistics in terms of web frameworks, uh, JavaScript frameworks, rather, and you look at the stats, what you will see in terms of usage on websites, jQuery is by far and away, jQuery, jQuery is by far and away the most popular, the most used, rather. Does that mean that there's tons of jQuery work and tons of uh, jQuery jobs? No, no, no. Uh, the reason there's lots of jQuery being deployed on websites is because jQuery is kind of like a, I don't know, it's a, it's, a, it's a nut and a bolt, if you will, that's used in other software. So they'll use jQuery like in Bootstrap, for example. And there's also just a lot of legacy out there, meaning there's a lot of old websites and web apps out there that have jQuery creeping around, not that jQuery is actively developed in. 
Anyway, you have to look at many different uh, indexes, many different surveys to get your information about anything. Keep that in mind. It's a general rule in life, actually. Shifting responsibility. Uh, one goal of the new report is to shift responsibility of cybersecurity away from individuals and small businesses onto large organizations, technology companies, and the U.S. government, which are more capable of managing the ever-evolving threat the White House news release said. ONCD worked with the private sector, including technology companies, the academic community, and other organizations to develop, to develop recommendations in the report, it said. The ONC, the ONCD issued a recent a request for public input on the topic in August. It also gathered comments in support of the initiative from several technology companies, including Hewlett Packard, Accenture, Palantir, other software security experts also praised the report. So there you go. Uh, yeah, time to change. At the same time, changes are needed because of the sophistication of threats from adversaries that exploit memory safety violations, he said. Discussion about memory safety involving the government, industry, and, ac and academic can lead to meaningful changes. To meaningful change, he added. Naturally, many branches of the federal government are key creators and vendors for software and they can use this perspective in deciding their priority for upcoming changes to systems or new systems. However, a move away from C and C++ won't happen overnight, especially in embedded systems, Grossman said. But the use of other languages for systems software, notably Rust, has already grown significantly. And I think many people anticipate that sort of evolution accelerating rather than C and C++ development simply stopping, which still seems imaginable in its entirety. Entirety, excuse me. Moving away from C++ will take will be a long and difficult process. Added Josh Alas, as excuse me, executive director and co-founder of the Internet Security Research Group. It takes a sustained effort to change the way people think about things, and communication like this helps to keep the issues of safety fresh in people's minds. As I say, and I've been saying for years, um, it takes time for technology to move out of favor for all the jobs to disappear. So when people read, oh my God, uh, I, I use PHP as an example. People have been saying for years that PHP is going away. For years and years, it's, it's, it's lost its mojo. It was popular like 15 years ago. But it's still super widely used. It's still the most widely used server-side programming language there is. So uh, let that example be a lesson for C and C++. Is it going to disappear overnight? No. But you're going to see a gradual decline when the White House and other big companies like Microsoft and so on are starting to uh, rewrite core aspects of their flagship products in memory safe languages like Rust and uh, Java and so on. You see that the days and basically, you won't see C and C++ growing. There will be a slow and steady decline. And eventually, it, you know, it's, this could take 20 years. But I, I would imagine 10 years, uh, C and C++ usage will be half of what it is today. Uh, that's, that's a reasonable guess. It could be faster, too. Happens once in a while, like with ActionScript. ActionScript, if you're not aware, if you're a young nerdling, uh, at one point, ActionScript, which was the programming language of the Flash platform, was very big, was very popular. And then one day, well, Steve Jobs in 20, I think it was 2010, I think, totally destroyed it because uh, they would not support ActionScript or Flash, rather, on iPads and iPhones, which was so important. And so he said that it's too, it had too many security issues and so on. That was what he said, but... Yeah, that was part of it. Anyway, that basically killed ActionScript. Within two years, ActionScript and Flash was pretty much dead. Uh, I don't think C++ is going to go that route, because it, it, but clearly the writing is on the wall. Um, it is now entering into the legacy, I would say, meaning um, decline. Slow decline, but decline. Hey, guys, I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of code personal finance, uh, freelance, and so many other things, check me out at unclesteph.com. If you disagree with anything discussed or any of my assertions in this particular video, feel free to comment below.
I uh, will answer comments and uh, questions. All right. Code long and profit. Thank you.